Hey, what is up YouTube? It's me, Amma Jane on Amma Jane TV. Sorry about the camera, because I'm in my new room, and this camera's been stupid again. Um, I need myself a new computer again. Uh, um, so, yes, um, I'm back. This probably would be something different, because, uh, it's nothing different today because it's just any day. I'm just tired, as you can see. My eyes are very tired. I feel like sleepy, like yeah. But hey, I'm here. I ate something, more or less. Uh, kind of twelve-ish breakfast thing in King's Cross because I had a job interview. Uh, unsuccessful. I didn't get the job. But that aside. My job today is to give you guys a review. So this today's review is another K-pop video. Yesterday I saw it. Thank you Jesus. Not like not 10 years later, but yesterday, uh which was okay. So it's the new rookie group girl group called Minx with their new I wouldn't say their new song because they just came out. They just debuted um I think it was five members, if I recall myself. Who? Yeah, five. I think it was five members on it. Um, the song they did, they debuted, was "Love Shake." Uh, I really love the song. I uh, is it me? I uh, probably it's just me that feels this. That it kind of had that J-pop feel to it. I don't know why, but the sound kind of made it kind of J-pop-ish. The, the the melody of, of their voice is kind of not entirely the vocals, but let's say like the the style, the colours, the I would say the bit of the choreo it kinda had the J pop feel. For those who are not familiar, they're just into K pop. If you don't know anything at all about J pop, I think you will just give them a chance and check it out. I know there are some crazy over hypish vocals like really squeaky like it's squeakier than Alvin and the Chipmunks but hey you get used to it but at the same time there's some J-pop artists that are really good like you should check them out but okay with that said it does if you look at Minx and you just I don't know you decide to research on YouTube because YouTube you find anything uh, you want exactly and especially J-pop is very easily to find it's very easy to find any group could be a solo artist a girl group mainly girl groups have a very specific style in J-pop uh, not all of them but some of them do some of them have a mixture with J-pop with J-rock but the ones that are only J pop, one hundred percent J pop, like AK forty eight if I'm cor I don't know the group as much because I'm not into that kind of group. I'm into a different kind of kind of group in J pop. But there's one of them this group like Perfume, um A K forty eight, um there's they have another bunch of groups 'cause um yeah. Uh sorry, what can I say? It's the style, it's the way, it's the sound of it, it kind of had that feel to it, so it's a nice feeling. I know it's not, some people will not agree with me, some people would, because some of us were originally into J pop before K pop. Like, I was originally J popper until K pop came into my life. So, I'm still into J pop, don't get me wrong. So, it's a good thing that we know, we kind of distinct, we kind of know where these styles, music style come from. So, like I said, it had a J-pop feel. Um, really loved the outfits. The song was nice. It was catchy, uh, cutesy. Because if you look at J-pop, like in that kind of category, kind of sound, it come across as cutesy a bit, like hyper, not too hyper, not too hyperish. In this song, it was okay because the song wasn't too squeaky. It was just. Obviously, because it's K-pop, it has different kind of vocals, so it's nice to see it doesn't have that kind of like Japanese do. So I like that. I like that. Uh, I like their outfits. The one my favorite outfit must be the one of the girls. I think it was the scene where they were in a fake beach, like with sand, 
it looks fake. One hundred percent looks fake. I don't know, but I just felt in my heart it looks it looks fake. <laughs> the set. Um, one of them had like really like nice. Is it the high waist shorts? I really like that kind of shorts. I mean, it looks really nice. Um, the the shirts were in it to win it because they're some of them look look like comic strips. I look so wicked. I want one now. Like desperately want one now because they look so colourful, look so creative. I mean, comic strips. Wow, I like that. It was nice. Um. Yeah, I like the song. I like their style. I love their hair. One of them had looked like Hyuna. I am not gonna lie. One of the girls looked like Hyuna. It's scary. And the other one looked like someone else. I don't remember who it was. One looked like Hyuna. Was the other one looked like? I I don't remember. The other one looked like someone from K-pop or J-pop. Someone looked like someone. I just don't remember. But one of them looked just like Hyuna. I think she was a rapper. But she looked like Hyuna. I can't keep saying it. I can't keep. I can't stop saying it. She looked like Hyuna. Like, wow. And she had contacts. She looked like Hyuna. Oh my God. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> um. Yeah. With that said. Uh. Yeah. As a start, I would give this. I, it was. It wasn't overly annoying. So I would give this a ten out of ten because it's good. You know, it's it's perfect. It's not perfect, but it's good in its own niche. That doesn't have to be like J-pop. It does, it did have that like, J-pop sound, so it kind of gave me that like, kind of bit of nostalgia in some way. And two, it's not overly annoying like J-pop does in some of the groups. Um, so it's not too crazy. So it was just cute at the same time. It was simple. The dance looks pretty easy. Uh, one of them caught my eye, the one who looked like Hyuna, you see, I'm not wrong, I, my eyes is saying she looked like Hyuna. So, that with that said, you guys, thank you for watching, as always, please remember to subscribe my channel, like this video, share this video, also, um, follow me on my social media such as Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and MySpace, and also because I got two fan pages please remember to like my two fan pages on facebook uh, which is um my amy jane palencia which is my youtube official one the my official youtube fan page and the other one which is for the filming industry which is called the web series projects uh, which I would discuss on act people want to do acting and people want to get into producing, directing, script writing, set design and music and you know the whole thing, the whole crew itself. So yeah those two and for those who like I said the whole crew filming industry thing, kind of thing like acting and stuff please remember to follow me and add me on chaney.com, hive.co.uk and on linkedin.com which you'll find me you if, if you search for me you'll find me as Amma Jane Palencia you'll see my face and I'm still the same as I am not exactly but still long hair uh the long hair never fails so <laughs> uh with that said uh for those who like stories please remember to follow me on Wattpad, DeviantArt, DeviantArt and on Asian Fanfic so it's to, this is the last month of my Watties Award 2015, so please remember to read my stories, vote for my stories, and comment on my stories. So, and if there any question, any requests, please remember to send my requ send the request on my Wattpad um, pro um, profile. So you can send me a message there. So you can post me a message. I will just get to you as soon as I can. So that is all you guys. That is all you guys. Annyeong everyone. I'm Salang here.